the roosters crow before dawn in this Red Oak subdivision. Neighbors here, though, don't complain. We also do give out eggs, and so we don't have that problem. Callie Roberts runs Urban Eggers. She sells live chicks and hens and told us that ever since grocery store shelves started getting bare, her business has doubled. I think that people are getting smart and they're wanting to um, have things to that are readily available for them. And so like, for instance, whenever I wake up in the morning, we have a plentiful supply of eggs. And so I think that that's what people are starting to realize. They'll know right where it comes from. Demand has surged for live chickens right now. You can't really find them for sale anywhere. Beekeepers say they are seeing more interest and organic gardening. That's on the rise as well as people really want more control of their food sources. Now, this kind of reminds me of post World War II uh, or Victory Gardens World War II, where uh, everybody got together and grew their, grew their own vegetables and raised their own chickens. And it's kind of a very similar situation. Bill Doherty and Fred Owen there run Trinity Haymarket in downtown Dallas. The demand for chicks has gone way up and a lot of hatcheries nationwide are, are they're already uh, taking orders for chicks two and three months in advance. In fact, their store won't have any more until July. Oh, if somebody's going to get into it, it's a commitment. Yeah. It's like raising a dog. I mean, you have to be a good steward of the hen. In other words, it is a responsibility to grow your own food, but done right, it is doubtful you would go without. In Dallas, I'm Jason Whiteley.